An overabundance of naturally forming wax in the ear canal can be unhealthy and the cause of reduced hearing ability. Dr. Shannon McLean explains the methods of removing the unwanted wax to her patient before proceeding with a hearing test. The wax is produced right at the entrance of the ear canal by three glands and sometimes the wax can build up right at the entrance there and needs to be removed and I'm going to uh, do that. The easiest and uh, safest way to do it is just with a curette. It's like a little tiny metal spoon and I'm just going to be working at the, um, the surface closest to me, what we call the, um, the medial surface here, and just working to remove that wax. Now there's a very thin lining of skin over cartilage and then your ear canal about halfway down turns to bone and there's a bit, very thin lining there. So if I touch down on that with my curette, you'll feel it. You'll feel a sharp poke. But I'm nowhere near the uh, eardrum. So I'm not going to traumatize anything, but you'll, you'll, you know, you'll feel some discomfort there. Now depending, everybody's different. So depending on how much um, it's bothering you, uh, we can always leave this and go and just irrigate it with a stream of water. And this water uh, system controls both the temperature and the pressure. So we, uh, we don't want to heat up the ear too much or cool it down too much because that uh, heat transfers to the inner ear and then we can um, cause some dizziness if uh, that fluid starts to expand. So I just warn the patient ahead of time if they feel dizzy at all just to let me know and then we can stop the procedure and, and let their ear heat up or cool down accordingly. Dr. McLean uses a small video camera to look inside the ear canal and to inspect the ear drum. Images recorded before and after the procedure shows that the excess wax has been removed and therefore the client's hearing has improved. Earwax is not unhealthy on its own. Only in cases where it is causing a blockage or discomfort should it be removed or in the case of hearing aid users when it may affect the fit and function of their hearing aid. And, uh, we're going to just see if your eardrum is intact before we begin the procedure. Okay. So you're just going to feel a little bit of pressure in the ear and then you'll hear some droning. Okay, here we go. Just a minute. So your eardrum is intact. Okay, okay, so that's what we want to see is that pressure peak within that box. And so your volume is good. And that volume will probably increase once we remove that wax. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, okay. so I'm just working at the very entrance here. Are you okay? Yeah. Just tickled. Yeah, yeah okay. so both ears are completely separate from one another, so one can be more sensitive. It's kind of. Uh, Onto the bone there. Yeah, I can feel that, but it's fine. Okay, so, good. And we'll just take one. Okay, make sure everything's nothing left behind. So it's going to feel like warm or cool to start out with and it's going to sound loud. Just prepare yourself. You okay there? Yep. And how's the temperature? Fine. Okay. So was it loud? It was loud. And how would you describe the loudness? Is it like Niagara Falls? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or a clean yeah. engine kind of yeah. sound. Now that we've cleaned the ear, we want to see if we've got all the debris out of the ear canal and just show the patient um, an aftershot so they understand what's occurred. So I'm just going to have a look now. Can you see the monitor? Mm -hmm. So we look in and then we have a nice clear view. And before we had a whole pile of wax just at the entrance of the now I've left some wax because it's there to protect your ear.